Hello, welcome to Tile Coach. I'm Isaac Ostrom. I'm a licensed tile and general B contractor in Northern California. Thank you for watching another one of our videos. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use a tile saw and also the three most used cuts that we do as tile installers. So I'm going to be showing you how to do a straight cut. I'm going to be showing you how to do an L cut. And I'm also going to be showing you how to do a U cut. Now I'm going to show you these three different cuts on two different types of saw just in case you have one that has chop action and then I'm going to show you how to do it if your saw does not have chop action. So we're going to start with the DeWalt. It's probably the most popular tile saw on the market today. Uh, and what I mean by chop action is that it has a head that can go up and down and actually chop down on top of the tile where the older saws do not do that. So I'm going to show you first on the on the DeWalt. So a straight rip is pretty easy. It's a pretty, you know, usually you just go in, it, it's when you're going along a wall and the whole tile needs to be ripped down. Uh, you're just going to take that measurement, you're going to make a mark, say three inches. You're going to make that mark and then you're going to come over to the tile saw. So as you can see with the DeWalt, I'm going to adjust the head all the way down so that it's in its locked position. It's down, it's fixed. I can't move the head of the saw. And I got my mark, lining up my mark, pretty simple here. So with the straight, so with the straight rip, you're just going to line up your pencil mark, look down on the blade. It's a lot easier to see if you look down in line with the actual blade. You're going to turn on the saw and you're just going to push right through. So, so one thing I want you to pay attention to is that I'm not forcing the tile saw into the blade. I'm letting the saw blade kind of dictate how much pressure I'm going to put onto it because I'll show you what happens if I start putting too much pressure. just too much for the blade, so go nice and easy. So that nice, even sound that you heard when I gave it nice, easy pressure, that's what you want. If you hear the saw kind of binding up, making different sounds. That means you're pushing too hard. You don't want to do that. So you can see we got a nice even cut, a piece cut really well. And so that's a straight rip. So leave a really nice finish. If it's going to be an exposed edge, you want to have a rub stone or some other type of way to sand the edge. And once you do that, it gives a really nice clean edge. Again, this is a, an edge that uh, can be finished, an exposed cut. It looks just like the factory edge on the tile. So uh, that's the way to get a really nice, even, clean cut. So the next cut we're going to do is an L cut. Now an L cut can be used for cutting around a wall when two walls come together. It can be used for cutting around an object. Uh, but uh, L cut's a real common cut that we make, uh, when, especially when doing floors. But uh, here I have another type of porcelain tile, 12 inch by 24. And I'm just going to make a couple marks, generic marks. Maybe I go six inches here and another six inches here. And I will use a speed square. Speed square is a really nice tool to have when you're marking tile. It helps you get a nice square drawn. So I got an L shape cut here. And so we'll go ahead and I'll show you how to do that on the DeWalt. Now I could do this cut on either saw, but since we're using the DeWalt now, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Same thing that we did with the rip cut. You know, we're going to line it up with our pencil mark. We're going to look right down the pipe to make sure everything's lined up. And you'll see as I cut, when I get to the, the edge here, I'm actually going to be lifting up. Now what lifting up on the tile does right here is it allows the curvature of the blade to cut all the way through to the, the back of the tile. 
because since since the tile the since the blade is round, if I were to just stop it at this point, the cut's going to be angled like this, and it won't be cut through the same depth all the way through the tile. So you're going to see me lift up. <laughs> See by lifting up, see I went right to my pencil line there, and as I lift it up, that helped transfer the cut all the way through instead of leaving uh, more meat of the tile in the back. So I'm going to do that same thing as I make the other side of the L. Line it up. I always close one eye, it's easier for me. I close one eye like I'm shooting a rifle or something, it really helps me get the line lined up. And you'll, you'll also notice that as I got close to the point of the L, I started going really slow because you don't want to go out past it. You can stay short of it, but you don't want to go past or you're going to ruin your cut. So you can see now, after I made this L, I still have a little bit to clean up in here. Because again, the curvature of the blade doesn't allow it to go all the way through, even when you lift up the tile. So I need to clean this up. So you can do this one of two ways. You can flip the tile upside down, and that's going to allow the that's going to allow it to go deeper. So I'm going to flip this upside down and I'm just going to go a little bit past. Or the other thing you can do is hold the tile and this is where the chop action comes in nicely too. I can lift the blade up and I'm probably going to get kind of wet doing this because it's going to want to spray, but this is going to allow me to get the blade, the tile in against the blade like this. So you can see I went, went from the back side and went a little bit past, and, and this one I'm just going to go right in the corner, and this is the way I would usually do it. I would just get in here and kind of manipulate things with my hand. <laughs> Now you see we got a really nice nice L cut, cut all the way through. So one thing that's helpful to do if, if you do have a heavy tile and you're trying to do fine tuning like this, if there's any way that you can rest an arm, that would make it a lot easier to have stability and control over your cut as opposed to trying to hold it like this because these tiles are actually pretty heavy. So there's a nice, beautiful, perfect L cut right there that um, again, if, if this wasn't exposed, if you had baseboard going on it, it, it wouldn't be a big deal. But if, say if this was like in a shower niche where it's exposed, you got to get these cuts perfect and that's the way to do it with an L cut. Okay, so the last cut I'm going to do is a U-shaped cut. We got our straight rip, we got our L cut. Now I'm going to do a U-shaped cut. So I'm just doing random measurements. I'm going to do 16 inches and I'm going to do, we'll do 11 inches. No, I'll do, yeah, I'll do 11 inches. That's kind of the standard width of a, a door jam. The same thing, I'm going to use my speed square. And then I'll come up with an arbitrary measurement here, maybe another five inches. And that's why the speed square makes, makes uh, well, maybe that's why it's called a speed square, right? Sometimes the speed square doesn't reach all the way, so I'll just start it. And then I'll use the edge just as a straight edge, line it up. There we go. So this is a U-cut. So I'm going to show it first with the chop action of the DeWalt. So this does, this is where, where the DeWalt outperforms the target, this, this chop action. But I can, I can do it both ways. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, so I started on the, with the U cut. I made the two straight cuts with the U, and you saw as I lift it up, I'm bringing the blade all the way through the tile. Now I'm going to go ahead and loosen up the head on the chop action. And so I could lay this either this way or I could lay it this way. It doesn't really matter. But I'm going to do it this way because this is my finished line and it's easier for me to see on this side. So the nice thing about these DeWalt's is that I can put the tile completely under the blade and bring it down on top of the tile. So I'm going to line it up just like I would to make a straight line. And so now I'm going to start the motor, leave this loose and come down on top of it. Now I got to be really careful here to not go past my finish line. I got to stay within the two lines I've already cut. So here we go. So you can see here, because of the curvature of the blade again, it's not cutting all the way through that, that U. You can see on the back side, that's what I got. So this still needs to, to come out. And when I, with these two cuts, you saw as I lifted up on the tile, it got almost all the way through it, not quite. But if you don't lift up on the tile, that's what you're gonna have left on the underside. So we're, but we're cut all the way through on the front so I could probably just hit this on something and it would pop off clean but for the sake of teaching I'm going to show you how you can cut through the back side and now I can run a little bit longer because the, the curvature of the blade won't go through the front it'll just be on the back okay here we go This isn't perfect. I mean, you can see I got just a little bit down here that's gonna show. I think, you know, if this was, was grouted, let me put the, might be easier to see. You know, we're a little rough right there on that corner. I probably could have done a better job there, these inside corners. Let me see if I sand them down, if that'll help. But this is a, this is a pretty tricky cut to make perfectly. But again, you might need to make it if you had a shower niche or something like that. That's pretty dang good. That would pass in my book. Some installers might make their helper do it over again, but <laughs> that's pretty dang good. Okay. So that's one way to do the U-cut. Okay, so I showed you how to do a U-cut on the DeWalt with a chop action. Now we're gonna go with the old school target. It has no chop action at all. It's a fixed, fixed cutting head. So I'll show you how I do it. Real similar, uh, but I'm not gonna be able to chop down when I make this cut. <laughs> Yeah, actually this blade is really dull and it actually, it's, it's warped too. You, you could probably hear the vibrations in it. I'm going to try sharpening it up a little bit, but yeah, I don't know. Again, I haven't used this saw in years and I don't know what blade got put on here or what, but yeah, it's, it's not cutting real well. bearings are bad too so yeah so I use the uh, the rub stone to dress up the blade here so we'll see if it cuts a little bit better so now I got to get I got to get my tile underneath the blade before so 
So I'm just trying to get the, the tray out of the way. And now I'm going to lift up with the tile to get this cut here. So real quick, that's how you would make the U-cut if you didn't have the chop action of the DeWalt. As you saw, the chop action is a great feature, made it a lot easier and simpler, especially if you're just learning. But if you did get into a bind and the only saw you had was one that doesn't have a chop, that's how you would go about making a U-cut. So as a bonus feature, and uh, you know, just, just a little treat, I'm gonna try to make an actual hole in a ceramic tile and um, you know, I'll be going over some advanced cutting. This is the video for beginners. I'm gonna be developing a course, so stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe, have your notifications on, because in the coming months, I'm gonna start doing courses for you guys to get better at installing tile. But this is just a little advanced cut, a little sneak peek that I'm gonna show how to do. This would be great if you had like, um, you know, you're installing in a shower, you got a shower head to cut around. Here's a little square in the middle of a tile. So I just marked both sides of the tile. And I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start from the front. So I'll be going over stuff like this, more tips and tricks. I'm here to help you guys get better at what you do. Maybe you're an apprentice who just wants to get better, be able to impress your tile installer you're working for with cuts like this. Maybe you're a do-it-yourselfer who just wants to do their own project and do a good job. Maybe you're just getting into the trade and want to learn about more of this stuff. So stay tuned for more stuff coming up. My point of making these videos is to help you get better. And once you get better, it's going to have a ripple effect on not only you, your workers, your community, your family, and everything goes from there. So I really appreciate you guys doing this. This is stuff that was freely taught to me. And so I want to just give it back to you guys. So watch those next videos coming up. Make sure to subscribe. Turn your notifications on so you see our weekly video uploads. So thanks again for being here with me. I love you guys. I love being your tile coach and we'll see you on the next video.